All right, I'm going to talk about something that's pretty important here. I want to show you the relationship between the sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet and compare that to the relationship between the sixth vial and the seventh vial because they're very close together. The sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet are very close together. The sixth vial of wrath and the seventh vial of wrath are very close together. Let me show you what I mean. Here we have Christ on the cross and then we have the timeline until the end of times. And then we have the church age beginning here. But in the church age, we'll have the seven-year tribulation, the resurrection rapture, and then we'll have the wrath of God poured out on the earth, and then we come back with Christ at Armageddon. We're going to talk about these two points right here, the end of the seven-year tribulation, right, and the end of the wrath, the end of the wrath. Okay, we're going to talk about those two things. This is the church age that continues on until the resurrection rapture. But right in that seven-year period, we have the trumpets. And over here in the wrath, we have the vials of wrath. We have seven trumpets here. We have seven vials of wrath here. Okay, this is the seals right here. First four seals, one, two, three. First four seals are kind of building up until this point where the Antichrist takes over. And then the fifth seal happens somewhere in here because the fifth seal is the persecution of the saints. The sixth seal is the wrath of God. And the seventh seal tells the whole story all over again, but in vast details. When you get to the seventh seal, it tells us what happens with the trumpets in this period. All right? Chapter six doesn't tell us about the trumpets. We have to learn about the trumpets and learn about the vows of wrath in the opening of the seventh seal. So anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about today. What I want to talk to you today is the relationship between the seventh trumpet and the sixth trumpet. And over here is the seventh vial of wrath, which is the finish. Both of these are finished. Both of these have thunder, lightning, voices, an earthquake, and an announcement that says it is done or it is finished. That's all it is. All the heavy stuff happens in the sixes, like the, the six seals. Here's the sixth seal. The big, the wrath is the worst part of everything. We go through some suffering in the tribulation, but not that. All right, the sixes. The sixth trumpet is the hard stuff. The sixth vial is the hard stuff. Just like we got the first four horses riding here until we get to the Antichrist taking over. Somewhere in here is the persecution of the saints in the fifth seal. During this time, the trumpets will play. It hasn't been told yet, but that's when the trumpets play. The bowls of wrath are over here. Okay, so what we got here is the sixth seal is the hard stuff. The sixth trumpet is the hard stuff, and the sixth vial of wrath is the hard stuff. Okay, so what we got here is this is a war that takes place. So right here, we have a war that takes place towards the end. Don't really know how long it is, but it's the worst thing that happens on the earth ever in history. One third of man dies. One third of the population of the whole earth dies right there. And then shortly after that, we have the seventh trumpet, trumpet, the seventh trumpet and the resurrection rapture. What I'm trying to get you to understand is that the sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet are very close together. Just like the sixth vial of wrath, guess what that is? That's another war at the end. And it's right at the end because that's when Christ is coming down, actually. That's how close to the end it is. That's how close this war is to the resurrection rapture. When one-third of mankind is killing, being killed, guess what's happening? Revelation 14 talks about the reapers coming into the earth. Right? One shall be taken, one left behind. One-third of mankind is going to die in that war. 25% of the earth dies because of them. That equals 50%. So what we have is the sixes are the hardcore heavy hitting stuff. The sixes happen and that's then the end is right there. So you could say that the sixes are the end. Just like it's what we're saying here is that the sixth seal is the end. Here's the sixth seal over here. The sixth seal. First four seals of the horses. Fifth seal is the killing of all the Christians. Sixth seal is the wrath of the Lamb coming down. Wrath of the Lamb coming down and a war that's fighting against the, the men of the earth. Okay? So the sixth seal 
is the hard stuff, the six trumpets the hard stuff, the six vials the hard stuff, and shortly after that it's over because the sixes, it's over at the sixes. Man is over. The number of man is over. And so we have the, right after the end, you've got the seven means it's been completed. Seven is, it's completed, it's just going to tell you the story of it. The seventh seal isn't a continuation of time, it's already been completed. The seventh seal, it says it's over, let me tell you more about what happens in this part right here. Because it is over at the six, now he can give you fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks about the tribulation, fill in the blanks about the trumpets, fill in the blanks about the uh, the Antichrist that happens, the Antichrist that happens in this period, the mark of the beast, the image of the beast, right? The scorpions sting those not sealed by God. All that happens in the trumpets, the war that takes place, right? Starvation increases. All that happens right here. Now, the persecution of the saints, the killing of the saints, we're going to read about that in seal seven. Seal seven over there. All right, because the sixes are complete, really the fullness of the of it all. Seven is the completion. The sixes are the measurement of the wrath and of the judgments and of the things that are taking place. The seven says it has been done. It's final. And that's how you look at it. Okay, so let me let me conclude this real quick. What we have here is an understanding on how the seals are folding out in the number six. And the hardest part is in the sixth, the sixth seal over here. As we see the trumpets as well, first four trumpets are basically the same thing. One, two, three, four. Four trumpets are like the four horses. We'll talk about this in another video. Because they happen almost simultaneously. These horses are happening simultaneously. They're going to be complete at the same time. The first four trumpets is some kind of natural disaster. It happens almost within the same day, in my opinion. And then you get the fifth trumpet, which is the fifth trumpet is the tormenting of those not sealed by God. What is the fifth seal? The tormenting of the Christians, right? Similar, it's very similar. The six and the seven, the six is the heavy hitting trumpet uh, of the war. The six vial is a war, two different wars. One is a war between man and man. Another one is a war between God coming down. And that's why you know this set the seventh vial of wrath isn't really some extra time it's not a lot of time there because christ is already going to be this is christ coming back at this war this is armageddon when christ comes back on a horse where do we read about that at the end revelation 19. right so we have revelation uh 8 to 19 tells us the long version of the story this is a story that's completely told in Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6 tells it in a very vague way. It's, it's just a very simplistic one chapter. talks about six seals. It includes the time of the tribulation and the wrath in chapter, in chapter 6. Revelation 8 through 19 talks about the same period but it gives you a lot of details. There's stuff that just, it just gives you all kinds of information. The war between Michael and his angels and the dragon and his angels, right? And people being protected, the two witnesses, the mark of the beast. It, this part of the story is the same as this part as far as time goes. But this part gives you tons of details. So back to this video. What's important about this video is that the sixes are important with intensity. The seven means there's nothing left. It's been done. There's nothing left. It's been done. In other words, seal seven, there's nothing left. It's been done. So what you're going to read about is not extra in time development. It's just details that were left out. Keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. I hope that helps you. Little by little, we're going to start understanding this book more. There's a blessing in the book of Revelation. So I hope that you like this stuff and you're growing and you're blessed. Get that blessing in the book of Revelation. All right, so thank you for your support, your prayers, and thank you for your donations. They help make all this possible. God bless you. Peace.